What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we are continuing with the RP series and in this episode we will make some player damage enhancements. So we will play some hit sounds when we receive damage, we will play a hit animation, we will add some force backwards and we will finally add some red borders so we know that we receive damage on the screen. It's gonna be very easy with the follow, so let's get started. But first, check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints. You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer. This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need. So you can check it out right now through the link in the description. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is play some sounds when we get hit. As you may remember from the start of the series, if I enter in third person folder and the third person character blueprint, you can see that we added this debug key that when we press one in our keyboard, we will just add a bit of damage into our character. And if I test this right now, and let me just, you know, get rid of the animals for now so they don't disturb me. If I just hit one, as you can see, I received damage, but the only thing that changes is the health bar. And of course I die, but we don't have any feeling that we are being hit. So the first thing I'm to do is add some sounds. So let's go into the third person character blueprint and let's go and find our health system. In this case, we called it under the applied damage comment. As you can see, we will call our player stats function to decrease our health. And if it's, you know, dead, we will call the die function. So if we have not, you know, died, what we're going to do is play a sound at location. In this case, the sound will be the grunt that we already have in our project and that our AIs are using when they receive damage. So let's go into the audio folder, go into grunts, and as you can see, we have here. There are basically these two. So let's go ahead and duplicate the knife staff uh, meta sound, okay, because it will save us time. And let's go ahead and call this grunt one. Okay, open this up and you can see it will randomly just change the pitch and let's put here it will be death one. Let's save this and just duplicate the this one over here, grunt two, open this up, and of course this will be now death two. And now every time that we play it, it will be a bit different. As you can see. And now finally, let's right click, go into audio and create a new sound cue. Let's call this S uh, SC underscore um ms for meta sound and then use grunts right and what we can do is randomly change between these two grunts so we can extract them make a random node and each time that we play this we'll just select one of those two randomly and now we can just go and select our sc ms grunts audio uh sound cube and just uh, plug it here and now we can say just get extra location because that's the location that we want to play on and now as you can see, when I press play and press one, it will play a random hit sound, which is cooler. All right, so now that done, let's go ahead and just play some hit animations. So what we can do is right after we play the sounds, you say play montage, right? And we can just play the uh, anime montage, which is a bit more compact. And we can just select a hit. Now in this case we have two of them, left and right, like we did with our AI at the start of the series. So we can just right click, create a variable, and just name this hit animations, right? Uh okay, let me just oh I already have one created um because I forgot to delete it. Okay, you didn't see anything. <laughs> it's because actually I had to um re-record this okay guys because uh it, it didn't get my mic at first so it's the second time i'm recording this okay so it's what it is anyway so uh let me just uh delete this right um i don't know why this uh there we go a name monta let me just delete that sorry about that so basically uh just right click create a variable and let's call this um hit animations right that's what we want so if we just name this hit animations and we just compile we can change the variable type from being single into an array and we just click the change variable type as you can see this will just make the difference of just being a single variable into a list so if i compile you can see that now i can add multiple ones now we have an error that's why we just need to hold alt and disconnect it that's okay and now i can just press this button two times and just add two uh, animations in this case it will be the hit for the left and also hit for the right 
And now I can just get from this and say it was random array item and it will just get a random uh, animation from there. And now we can just go ahead and play that you know, randomly each time, which is cool. So we can actually test that out if I compile and just press play, press one, you can see it will play a random hit animation. And that looks good, but a bit weird. And that's because the character is kind of moving, but it's not moving in 3D space. Okay, so we just need to basically add some force. So what we can do is use the launch character node. And this will just add some force into a direction. In this case, let's get the actor uh, rotation, right? And let's get the forward vector, which is the direction that our character right now is looking at. So let's go ahead and multiply this by a value right click convert it to a flow so it's a nice number and we can put something around uh, let's say like uh, you know 600 right and let's plug that here and you will see that now when I um, press play and press one to play damage it is moving indeed the player but of course forwards <laughs> so first of all let's decrease a bit the um, force it was a bit too much so maybe around 500 is a bit better and of course add a negative at the beginning so it will be in the opposite direction so instead of uh, forward it will be a backwards and now as you can see it does look great it will move backwards now maybe it's too much still uh, I think that 300 would do the trick so let's test this out compile press play oh that's great so you can see now we see damage and we go backwards and that's really cool all right so now with that said we just need to add one last thing which is like a blood red border at the screen so we get the final uh, you know feeling that we are actually getting hit so let's go into the content folder go into the ui folder uh textures and now we can just go ahead and get my texture which is the damage border drag it into unreal engine and now it's here so let's go back into the main widget hud and we can just get an image drag it into the ui screen and then if we open up the anchors drop down and hold left control i can click this uh, full screen button and it will automatically just you know make it full screen which is what we want now let's rename this to be something as the damage um hud sorry damage hud not damage uh, image and then let's select the image that we have just imported all right in this case i will try to leave it in the description but it's just one that i found online okay very important it needs to be transparent okay png as you can see in this image it has an alpha channel that's why it is uh, with transparency okay very important okay so with that said by default the alpha will be zero so it will not be visible and now let's create a new animation so in this case this will just be like damage and now if we select this animation we can add the damage image into the track and now when this starts it will indeed will have the alpha to zero but then a bit later it will have the alpha to maybe like 0.7 right we'll add another keyframe uh keyframe keyframe and now a bit later this will be back to zero at a keyframe okay so now if i go ahead and zoom in all right i can change a bit this now it looks like this it is a bit too fast and too weird as you can see that's a bit better so we get you know instantly the um, damage effect and then it will uh, go away right boom it's damage and it goes great so with that said compile and save go out of the animation preview go to the graph now can just right click create a new custom event and this will be just play damage uh, animation right so if i know how to name this correctly there we go and now we can just get the animations for damage and you say the play animation node and with that said we can just play that animation so let's go ahead and just um go to the third person get the blueprint right after we launch the character we can just get our hud which which you already have a variable from you know uh, previously in the series and now we can just say play animation for our damage and with that said if now i compile save and press play as you can see each time that i receive damage we have the all the things going at once with the border now i did choose a pretty ugly border animation if you find a cool one go ahead and choose it and maybe i change it a bit later but it is functional okay um that's what matters now i think that i want to do is also apply all of this um you know logic basically the sound the animation the push and the um screen effect uh also when i die right for one second so let's go ahead and just select these two nodes drag them to the end hold alt just unpin the files 
and then just connect this to here and connect this to here okay so this will happen always when we receive damage it doesn't matter if we're gonna die or not okay it will play every time now i can simply just put everything on a nice comment move it a bit make sure that the event tick doesn't go away there we go and that should be it all controlled and of course if i were to add one of the enemies or in this case we can do an animal right and i just drag the for example the elephant into the level right and just make it so it will see me instantly right it will come please see me hello there we go he's coming for me i think uh okay see he lost me let me just oh, come on see me there we go and you can see he will attack me and everything will happen correctly okay cool so that's it guys if you found this video helpful i would appreciate you could like video and subscribe to my channel remember that the private files are available in my patreon members so check that out check out my course we'll game that to you on rule engine 5 link in the description join my discord server with a huge community of game developers and you can share your progress with the series on any questions or just in general about Unreal. follow me on my socials and now yes above all i said bye bye